Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Crypto Insight UK here bringing you back another YouTube video. The reason I'm laughing is because I've just recorded this YouTube video, uh, spoke through the whole thing, and then realised my mic wasn't even turned on. <laughs> but that's how you know I'm feeling a bit poorly. Anyway guys, if you do enjoy this content, please uh, like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a quick market update for you today. I'll try and keep this video short. I'm going to try and break my videos down into smaller videos so people can watch specifically what they want to watch. This is just a technical analysis, market update, charts I'm watching and what I think is going to happen. So we're looking at Bitcoin here on the daily. Uh, as you all know, as I talked about, if you've been following the channel, I did say that we would have a retracement at some point very soon because we had like six or seven, I think it was actually eight in the end, uh, continuous green candles for Bitcoin. I'm personally of the belief that Bitcoin's back testing uh, its range high, which is just this level here. Remember, guys, a range is just a price, like two prices, a bottom and a top, that uh, the price has been stuck between at two levels for a little while. So I personally believe that it's retesting a range high. If it is, I'll, I'll put that, I'll put that back in. Actually, that line. Okay, well, it won't redraw it for me. I'll quickly redraw it back in. This would be the the top of the range high. And if it is, this is a very bullish structure. It will come out, back test, and then look to head out. And if it's not, <coughs> we may fall back into this range and continue crabbing sideways for a while. However, if you follow Blockchain Backer, which I do, I think he's a great technical analyst. He thinks we're in a range, but he thinks the range is more of an ascending parallel channel, a bit like this. So he thinks it can just come down in here and keep grinding upwards which is definitely a possibility as well but i personally believe that this is the range uh like like this boom boom oh, no we haven't come to the bottom yet and then we've just broken out of it doubled up the 200 day um as support so but we'll see his ta is better than mine but let's see who's right on this situation we have lost the bullet the bullish momentum on the rsi we did need to cool off a bit so maybe he's right maybe we do come down further and cool off a little bit further However, with all the stuff going on in the market, like um, stable quant buying um, so much Bitcoin per day, that's the UST founder. He's trying to buy $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. I think he's only bought $1.5 billion so far, dollars worth. I, I can't see the price coming too far down when we've not got loads on exchanges. Anyway, so let's get into Ethereum. Ethereum's looking pretty similar. We haven't found the 200 day yet, but we are using the range high as support, as if you look left here from the 8th of February. XRP is obviously something we're very interested on this channel. Um, we don't have the bullish cross yet on the daily uh, time frame for the 50 day and the 200 day moving averages. We also are in a different sort of range because we haven't broken the range high. We've double topped at the minute, but we have come back down into the buy box that I have drawn out and found some liquidity. And now we're holding between the 50 day and the 200 day. Again, we need, we've lost the, uh, the bullish momentum on the RSI. We need to see some volume come through and help us push back above the 200. Other charts I've got my eye on a Doge. Doge has pushed out above the 50. We've take, we've reclaimed the recent swing high, but we haven't claimed the last major resistance or the 200 day moving average. But it's looking kind of bullish for Doge. Again, the RSI is just about to cross bearish um, on the daily, but one thing that you've got to remember, if we are coming into alt season now, which I personally speculate that we are, um, meme coins do often take a run when we get retail back into the market. All we need is one tweet out from Elon Musk and it's rocket ship emojis everywhere for any sort of doge, doge holder. So that's just one thing to take into consideration. I have taken a small position in doge. Algorand, again, reclaiming the recent swing high and is holding on top of the 50. Same sort of area as Doge with the RSI. I think this is looking for another pop-up as well. Something else I've definitely got my eye on right now. And HBAR is another one. Stuck between the two moving averages. Reclaim the recent swing high. Struggling on the high before that. But again, the same on the RSI. Um, and <clears throat> within this sort of sideways channel that I had drawn out from a while ago that we respected a lot of support and resistance in the past. So... Other things to watch out for, the DXY dollar strength. Uh, this is also ranging between the 618 and the 702. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market at the minute, guys. Um, but one thing I do want to talk about is gold. Gold, uh, in my opinion, long term is looking bullish. If we get a breakout above this level here, this double top, we could be aiming for the $2,500 mark. Um, if we break down below the 1767, we are looking down here towards the... 3006 
their 1360 mark you can also like confirm that with um the double top breakdown target which brings us down there to the 1350 360 sort of mark as well so the gold's looking pretty strong on the daily it's held this recent swing high here also held the 200 day moving average with long wicks to the bottom and consolidation but today it has been moving inversely not just today in general uh, to bitcoin meaning when gold goes up bitcoin's been coming down and vice versa but today both look to be coming down at 0.46 on gold and 0.1% on one percent on Bitcoin at the minute. So something that is very interesting to me right now is the S&P. So I talked about this yesterday. Um, we had a gap up in the S&P. It came down and closed that gap. Today we look to have opened the market quite a bit higher than we finished it yesterday. Around, let's have a look. Um, 0.54%. So it is a bit of an increase, but let's see what happens uh, when the market opens. I'm definitely interested to see what's going to happen there. And to be honest, guys, they're the main things I'm watching at the minute. Have we had any breakouts? Not really. CSPR Zill is still pumping, obviously, 9% up today. Zill is absolutely going into madness. Casper looks to have had a bit of a pump, but looks to be struggling. Although it has broken through... Um, this previous high here so that could be quite bullish as long as we don't fall back into that zone and other than that guys that's about everything that's popping off so far today i'll keep you guys up to date if i see anything else but i hope you enjoyed this little market update um and i will see you all on the next one peace up a town down as usher would say